Hi, in this video I'm gonna show you how to convert an image into 3D. Just few tips before starting off. Choose an image which has more depth. In my case, I have uh, chosen a matte painting which is downloaded from mattepainting.org. You can see I've got a lot of objects in the foreground. This rock over here, the trees, various things at uh, various depths. So let's start with Photoshop. In Photoshop, I'm going to split the image into layers. So let me show you what I have done. This is the original image which I have got. So let me turn this off. So oh, here I have the sky. I have split everything into different layers. Background mountains. And the one in the foreground. The tree. And the rock. Yeah. So once you have done this, save it as a PSG. So let's move on to Fusion to complete this. I already have my comp opened up here. I'm going to take you through this flow. So to start off with, let's import the PSD document which you have created. Go to File, Import, PSD. So let's choose this. So this comes in different layers and it's already merged. So you get a flattened image. Again, you still have the control over layers. Or you can just go with a simple loader and choose the same. So again this comes as a flattened image so if you want to extract the layers from here go to format and from the layer options you can choose the different layers so let me take a copy of this and if you go to format you can again get a different layer after importing the different layers apply them onto image planes and arrange them in the 3d space so let me show you what i have done here i have different layers arranged at different depth when you do this make sure that you set up the scene huge so that when you move the camera things which are close move fast and things which are far away move less or it will be just like zooming into an image it will not have that depth in it so let's see what we get out of this so still it looks flat so we'll make some changes onto this so let's add displays to the image planes let me take up two viewers to see the change what we get so let me move on to the first layer here it is and I have it projected on my image plane so I have a displays and a bender over here so let me enable this and see what change it makes so let me turn it off again and again turn it on right so I have a displays node and the input is just coming from the same images green channel and I have blurred it just to make it little softer make the displacement a little softer so I have done the same procedure for everything so I have the next layer over here projected onto the image plane and I have the displacement over here so let me enable this as well so you can see the difference so I have done the same onto this tree as well I have it on the image plane and I have a displacement over here so one thing when you do displacement you have to check your image planes subdivision level you need to have the right subdivision level or it might create a problem going through the flow I have the next layer and I have added few paint nodes here and there I have the mat is too sharp so just to soften it I have added some paint nodes over here and again here I have a displacement so let me just enable this I can see I have a bump over here right so moving over I have this grass projected onto a image plane hugging a displacement right so let's move over main one again enable displays over here and again enable the displacement and for the ones in the background I have not done any displacement two mountains and again one over here and the sky the sky I have put it onto a cylinder shape so looks better after adding the displacement still uh, there's no life in the scene so let's add some 
waterfall and birds into the scene so i already have a waterfall video over here so let's see how to extract the waterfall alone from this so what i have done here is i have used a bitmap mask so let me show you so i have the bitmap and i use the blue channel and adjust the threshold value and I need just the waterfall so I have a poly over here drawn across the waterfall and put it on connect it onto the bitmaps mask input and change the paint mode of the bitmap to minimum so once we have done this <coughs> so let's see how to use it so take up a merge and take an empty background alpha zero just to put a waterfall on an empty background put it onto an image plane so let's connect this and let's see what we have over here so now we have a waterfall over here so next let's add some birds onto this so again i have a gif over here so again it doesn't have any alpha so i use again a bitmap mask to extract an alpha so this time i'm using the luminance value again threshold value adjuster so again as usual take a merge and an empty uh, background with alpha 0 and bitmap mask going onto the mask input of the merge and I have varied the time speed of this <coughs> just to make it slow and I have it on an image plane over here too small too small over here and I have a duplicate 3D so the duplicate just duplicate the number of copies given offset just to make it random go to zero and just play with these settings so and i have a transform 3d which is animated across so let me show you this same time so here i have them animated so let me connect this okay so let's see so i have the birds now right so now I'm gonna just show you how to render this out now. So finally onto the scene I have a camera and I've just animated my camera transform and target I've used a target cam just go over here and enable the target so I have an animation of the camera moving forward and I feel there's a lot of hollow space in over here so what I have done is I have again uh, modeled something inside fusion just to cover this area over here so this rock over here so let's see how to do this so I have a shape video over here which is a plane um, just adjust the width and height and increase the subdivision level so I don't want to apply texture directly onto this I want more control over it so I'm going to do a projection onto this so first let's get it like a rock so I have a bender let's turn on lighting so I have a bender and I'll also apply a displacement onto this okay so let's see this so I have it right and you can play with the fast noise settings Get different displacement and let's move it into the position right. so now again I get this texture by projecting it I have a projector 3d and I have the texture so I use I put it onto my model using a projector and I just have a brightness contrast just to play with this value to put it merge it into the scene and whenever you use projections just make sure you have a light in the scene again if you don't have light you're not gonna see the difference this light is just for the viewer purpose when you render it out you need to have a light to see the change of projection so looks better so let's add a bump into this so I have a bump map over here so just adjust the values, I use it as a height map and with a height scale of 6 something so again to put it onto the shape I need a blend so just hold control and drag it over the blend and as a bump map material and 
use this onto the shape theory so now you can see the effect again to see this you need to have lights so let me turn this off right makes a lot of difference so let's see the overall so i have it over here everything merged and we have the render and in your render you have to check make sure that you have enabled lighting and shadows and i need two renders over here because to make it stereo on the last i have a render which renders the left and one more render which renders the right and the separation value is decided by the camera over here in the controls you have the eye separation value and once you have rendered out the left and right use the anaglyph and again connect it to the left and right so here we have the stereo output this is the final result thanks for watching